By the way, headline, headline from Reuters here of what's been going on around the world and what we've been seeing. Reuters, quote, seven arrested in Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands over suspected terrorism plots, potential plots from Hamas against Jews. We have also seen the FBI director Christopher Wray in the recent uh, days testify up on Capitol Hill that the system hasn't been blinking red like this since September 11th and the t attacks leading into it. Our next guest, uh, Chris Swecker, is the former FBI assistant director, has written, um, or at least has said in the recent days, that the U.S. is extremely vulnerable to a quote-unquote catastrophic terrorist attack. Chris Swecker, former FBI assistant director, joins us live. Uh, thanks for being here with us on The Hill on News Nation, sir. Appreciate the time. Can, can you explain yourself and, and why you feel that way? Sure. I mean, I, I've been in this business for 40 years, 25 active with the Bureau, and then I've, I've been involved in this field since then for 15 years. And I can tell you, I, I agree with Chris Ray. this is the highest terrorist threat level, namely because we have an open border, basically, where we've had 180 known terrorists stop there. They're not coming in here because they love this country and they want an opportunity. That's 180 known terrorists who have infiltrated yep. into this country, and they're up to no good. We already had Hezbollah cells here in, Char in, in North Carolina. We have, if you've had them in North Carolina, a case that I work personally, you have them in New York, you have them in Detroit, you have them in L.A., you have them in all the major cities. So, you know, th this, this you know conflict in the Middle East is also stirring things up. These terrorist organizations need conflict to advance their cause. You, you, you draw, though, a straight line, and obviously nobody wants to see anything awful happen, of course. Right. But you, you draw a straight line to the southern border. Why? We got 1,700 miles of border where anybody can cross at any time, and they're coming from countries that we can't vet who they are. And that's the heart of, to me, that's, that's the, the danger sign, the flashing red light, if you will, is we just don't know who's coming in. We have, okay. we have 100 close to 180 that we know are terrorists. How many got through, you know, between the border checkpoints? Yeah, C Chris, I'm, I'm, I'm running short of time, but I wanted to ask you about a CBS report uh, that the U.S. terrorism watch list now has approximately 2 million people on it. It was 120,000 20 years ago, 1.1 million six years ago, and has doubled since. What do you make of it? Yeah, it's pretty shocking. It, it, I think I would attribute that to the stepped-up pace of investigation since 9-11. The FBI tra transferred literally thousands of agents to counterterrorism. More agents working terrorism in all the agencies. You're going to find more suspected terrorists, and that's the key word there, suspected terrorists. Those people just need to be, uh, you need to be vetted as they come in. It doesn't mean they are terrorists. It means that there are people that we need to look at and take more time with and vet them more carefully when they come across the border or whenever we come across them anywhere in the country. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.